Hello YouTube and today what we're going to learn is how to use drivers. So if you want to make a controller for something then you can uh, create a driver. So in order to create a driver, let's say I'm going to create this box right here. I'm going to press Shift D, move it to the side just like this. Uh, for the controller, I'm going to select the curve right here. So I have two boxes and a controller right there. So what I want to do is to set the driver. I'm going to go to uh, my modeling tool. So not on the, uh, okay, on the animation tool itself. And I'm going to select the two driven objects. So I'm going to go to key and I'm going to set driven key and set. So I got my two cubes right here. I'm going to select the controller right here and press load driver. So if I, uh, let's say what I want to do is when I move this here, I want these two to rotate. So if I were to select these two, I'm going to select these two and then I want them to rotate uh, like this. All right. Okay. I want them to rotate like this. Uh, so I'm using the rotation X right here. So I'm going to select the rotation X for both and I'm going to select uh, the driver. Driver, I'm, I want to move the translation tool right here. So translate X is there. So I'm going to select translate X and I'm going to select the driver now. So I select the translate X and rotation and I'm going to do key. Then I'm going to grab my driver, move this to the side and then rotate this on the side I want. Okay. And then rotate this on the side I want. All right. Remember, first I said move the controller, then I move the objects and now press key again. And now if you were to move this, what you actually get is you get this kind of an animation right here. So you can actually now add in keyframe to the controller right here. So if I were to press S, move this to the side and again move this to the front, you can see that this kind of animation actually happens. So if you have multiple objects and, it, and you want to give them multiple movements, then you can try this kind of animation, which helps you uh, create complex animation easily. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please